Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to start a new series for Runway ML which is a creative suit with a lot of really advanced tools. It has over 30 plus AI magic tools if you see in this list, all the way from image to video to 3D to audio. So I think Runway is heading the way for Adobe but in the AI space. They have just released their Gen 1 to everybody so you can try it out as well. And the quality of images and videos it's producing is going to be featured in animated movies and they are even hosting an AI film festival which just happened in Feb and March. And I'll add this link to my description so you can see what kind of movies won the AI film festival. Just the fact that there is an AI film festival happening is already a big deal in the whole AI video generation space. And that brings me to today's video. I'm going to talk about the Gen 1 video to video today. This is a product of Runway ML where you can use an existing video and edit it in different kinds of filters and even add your own prompts and even do image to video that means you can add your own image and then use that in an existing video so you can have your character based on an image that you upload. Today I'm going to focus on a few sections of the video to video because there's a lot of features in all these tools as you can see and it can get pretty overwhelming and I prefer going deeper on a specific kind of tool or topic versus touching upon a bunch of different tools at the same time and have one long video. To get started all you do is to go on this website called Runway ML and sign up for free. Every free account gets 400 credits. So after you create your account and log in, you're going to be greeted with this URL app.runwayml.com slash video tools. And all you do is to click this Gen 1 beta. And when you do that, you're going to be greeted with this page of video tools where you can see you have a place to upload a video. So what we're doing basically is we're going to upload an existing video and we're going to try adding filters and different kinds of changes to it so we can edit the video according to our needs. For example, the video I'm going to use today is this lady who is a dancer and she's doing a bunch of motions and I'm going to clip out a specific portion of this video to use for today's generation because as you can see only the first five seconds of your video will be processed. They said they're going to increase this limit soon. I think it was three seconds a few days ago but right now it's five seconds so I'm just going to try up to a six second clip. So I have this clip which I'm going to use from the longer version of the video. So before you get started you should see the limits you have. So right now I have 37 seconds of generation left and every second results in using up 14 credits and apparently I have 525 credits available. So for my generation, I'm going to upload my six second clip. And while it uploads, you're going to see there's a bunch of demo assets that you have available. These are other clips which you can just go ahead and use if you don't have a clip on your own. But if you do want to start paying for this service, there's a pricing plan in place. Here I think monthly it is around 15 bucks a month or 35 bucks a month for a pro edition. All right, I have my video uploaded now and after that's done, you're going to see this editor pop up in the bottom where you're going to see a bunch of options on things you can do on your video. I'll go over the options here briefly before I get started. This is actually similar to most of the AI image generators. The one here on the left is an image to image where you can upload an existing image and try to implement that character in this video. The second one is the presets. This is what I'm going to focus on today. This allows you to develop a specific style of video based on whatever you uploaded. So you can find anything you want from a stock video website or something that you take personally personally on your camera and after you upload that you can add any kind of preset and have the whole video run on that preset. I'm going to test out a bunch of these options and the last option here is a prompt where you can use a text prompt to add inclusions to your video. So if you want to have this video contain a dragon flying in the background, you can mention that here. So I'm going to test out the prompt feature in a future video, but for today's video, I'm just going to focus on the presets. Let me first check the current status of the video. So if you click this, it looks like she is dancing or doing a specific kind of dance style 
and if I apply the paper origami now and click generate in the bottom it's gonna start generating a new version of that video in the paper origami style hopefully with the same actions that she's doing here now the time of this generation can vary based on the load that runway has at the moment and since runway ml just released the gen 1 there is potentially a lot of people trying out this video to video functionality so expect some delays or crashes and as this is generating you might see that my counter on the top reduced by five seconds all right i have my video ready i have this character in the paper origami style and let's see how it turned out I see the entire character including her fingers and her face completely turned into a paper origami and I see the lights in the background the ones here turned into origami birds which is an interesting variation I did not expect but it looks really cool now if you see the settings option on the right here and click advanced there's going to be a bunch of options which open up and all of them apply to all three styles but for today's preset style there's a few things you can do if you click affect foreground only you're going to affect the style only affect the foreground subject and leave the background untouched and if you do the opposite and affect background only the style that you select will only affect the background the style weight varies the emphasis on the style so if you put a very high style weight it's going to try to make sure that the style in this preset is matched the same for structural consistency if you put a higher value the output will be structurally a lot different from the input video so let me try making the structural consistency really high all the way to seven and i'm going to now only affect the background so I'm hoping that the character in the front does not change and it stays the same person. I'm gonna change my style here to claymation. It comes up with a whole different idea for this dance. So I have a high structural consistency. I'm gonna have effect background only and I'm gonna click generate. Meanwhile, you can of course download the last generation right here. All right, I have my video ready. So I have a claymation style which has a high structural consistency and an effect background only selected. So I can see I have my claymation background in place and the main character with her jacket seems to be pretty intact. I think there's some changes with her hands and her eyes. Let's watch the video a few times. I see there's a couple of tiny changes of the claymation style that has affected her fingers and her eyes. The foreground has been affected a little bit, but mostly I think the character has stayed the same. So I'm pretty happy with this result. All right, for the next one, I'm gonna try doing, let me do Cloudscape this time, and I'm gonna only affect the foreground. So I expect the character to change, but the background to stay the same and i'm gonna keep my structural consistency pretty high i think since i kept that so high there has been some changes in the eyes and the fingers but i think i like that so i'm gonna keep that pretty high and this time i'm gonna do a change on this frame consistency and make it all the way to two so frame consistency relates to how closely the frames relate to prior frames so if i put the frame consistency pretty high the whole video generation should be a lot more seamless so I'm gonna keep it at two. I'm gonna keep my structural consistency at seven and I'm gonna select Cloudscape and click Generate. All right, I have my generation ready. This is the style for Cloudscape. I don't know what that is really. It looks like cloud formations and I have my preset with a setting of high structural consistency and frame consistency, but I have my foreground effect only selected. That means it should only affect the foreground and keep the background intact and i think that's what happened let's look at the original video for a second this is the background with some ceiling lights and this is the dancer in the front wearing a black jacket in this video the jacket is gone and we have this cloud formation version of this dancer 
and the background is pretty intact. All of those lights seem to be still there. I can't recognize her face anymore. I don't really know who this character is. This seems to be a brand new character. But overall, this is very interesting because I think it followed all my instructions according to what I mentioned. But yeah, this is the third variation of my video and I have used up 15 seconds till now. Cool, I think I tested out quite a few different features of these presets. I wonder if there's a way they can add more presets or have a way that I can add more presets because these ones look like they're just trials. They're just something that they're trying out to have the first version of the product out. But I would like a lot of different kinds of presets for me to generate AI animations or videos. But for the first version, for the first week of Runway ML Gen 1, the results look pretty spectacular. I am really happy with how the videos turned out and I'm even happier that it's actually following my instructions. But that's all I have for this video today. I'm going to have other videos coming up where I test out its prompt and image to image feature. There's actually an option to upscale this video but it comes with this upgraded plan and if you have your video with a specific watermark you can remove that too but both of them are a part of the pro account. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming out both on Runway ML and other tools. Till the next one, thank you so much.